And the, uh, the fact is that while it's uh, small in numbers, it's a huge area. And even small um, uh, uh, numbers of cases in the small populations can result in a very important epidemic. And of course, Papua New Guinea has the bulk of the cases, as you will have known from the report, which they will tell you. The SG made a very good uh, speech this morning, and he made five specific uh, points, uh, most of which are contained in the report, but I think he singled those areas out for special uh, uh, attention. One is to look at the legislative um, protection for people uh, infected with HIV, for uh, men who have sex with men, for sex workers, and also access to um, services for all the groups who are at uh, uh, key risk populations, including intra uh, venous drug users, and to use uh, 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 best practices and lessons learned from other regions. The second point that he made was that in the Pacific region, governments and donors have to work with the civil society NGOs, and particularly at the community level, and to get the community much more involved, because to change stigma and discrimination, you need to change social attitudes. The third point that he was making was that now this report has made very important recommendations, as you will hear, 26 recommendations, and we now need to move towards implementation. I think we've done a lot of thinking, etc., and now we need to go to uh, um, uh, implementation. A fourth most important point, in which, we, which I totally, totally endorse, that one of the principal drivers of the epidemic in the Pacific Islands is gender violence, uh, gender power relationships, and gender inequalities. And you'll see from some of the data that now the number of cases, um, number of women infected are increasing dramatically. And in some countries like Papua New Guinea, 60% of the infected people are women compared to 40% men, which was the opposite some years ago. And also the fact that young women are getting infected Young men of the same comparable age are much less infected, and so they are getting infected by older men. So the importance of addressing gender inequalities and empowering women is particularly, particularly important. And the last point that he made, and which we all believe is uh, critical, is that prevention activities which will also address stigma and discrimination need to be scaled up and to have a lot more resources uh, addressed uh, to them and uh, that these, this will uh, in fact help to turn the tide of the epidemic. I think this report is an excellent report as you will hear from the chair and from the members of the commission. In the Pacific we have mostly low prevalence and one exception, that exception is Papua New Guinea. We have to be proud to be at low prevalence level, particularly when we know that the large part of our population are actually very young, children and uh, people under the age of 18 or 25. So we've got to think forward as to what can we do to spare this generation from uh, the experiences that countries who are now living with high rates of HIV are going through and what it represents on the long term. We're saying here 15, 20, 30 years down the road, HIV is not gone. The person is still living with it. And the implication that it has on the person's development, on the economic development of that community, and also on the national development itself.